talking about the upcoming uh, Acoustic in Hell EP. So I wanted to ask, uh, where did this idea of acoustic versions uh, originally start from? Mm -hmm. um, well, it's it's only because of the tour with Sonata Arctica that we even did acoustic songs. Uh, it's nothing that we ever thought about really doing, nothing that we really wanted to do as such. But, you know, when this opportunity came up and we were like, sure, why not? And we, um, yeah, first time ever, and uh, it uh, just came to be. How did this uh, idea that came from the tour end up as an uh, EP? Um, well, the, the tour was supposed to take place in 2021. And uh, when it got postponed till 2022, Madeline and I, we looked at each other and said, hey, let's, uh, let's record this. this. This is damn good, and it's uh, too good not to do something extra with it now that we have another year. So yeah, that's what we did. And how was it to work on and record uh, very familiar songs, but in a completely new way? I, it was, um, some tracks were more difficult to rearrange than others. Um, like not, not only like um, how they sound, but how you actually play them. Because if you play them the same way on an acoustic that you do on an electric guitar, it can sound uh, not as good as it should. So the actual re rearranging was a little bit easier and a little bit harder on some songs. And the actual recording process was very, very smooth as such, since we were very uh, prepared, very well rehearsed. We knew our time frame. We knew what we should do. But there were some snags along the way where um, one of Madeline's and my uh, cats were on uh, was on the brink of death and uh, she made it luckily but she had to be monitored so uh, the thought was from the beginning that everyone should be in the studio at the same time everyone record everything at the same time uh madeline behind the piece of glass and just go for it uh but it ended up with madeline staying home and uh, the rest of us guys driving up and doing the thing with everyone together uh, and uh, then we recorded that for a couple of days and uh, I drove back home. Madeline drove to the studio, four hour drive, and she recorded everything within three hours. Then she slept and drove four hours home again. So that is the only snag we had, but we still managed to do it within five days. So that was very good. And uh, how did you... Uh choose the songs that ended up on EP. I'm sure every fan would have, you know, had their own pick, but how did you decide? Um, well, the, the main goal, uh, as with, we, we try to have this within every kind of release we have, is to have a certain dynamic. And uh, the songs had to have that dynamic within themselves and together. Um, so there were some songs that we actually rearranged that didn't make it to the uh, to the EP. Still good, you know, but uh, didn't have that certain dynamic that we wanted. How about playing these acoustic songs live? Is that uh, how different of an experience is that for you? Uh, for me personally, it's very different because uh, of the thick, thick neck on a seven string acoustic guitar. It's super thick. Um, but it's also very fun. It's very nice to have the songs at their absolute core and still keep this raw and authentic sound. Um, and with singing, I know that for Madeline, it is very more, uh, it is, it is so naked. It is so bare and still we have to maintain that certain feeling that the song uh, delivers it within the message of the, of the song itself and also the feeling of it. With this uh, experience from these songs, uh, do you think in the future you will also be doing uh, acoustic versions of uh, upcoming songs on music? Um, well, I mean, no, I don't think I would. I think I would actually prefer not to think of this like future things as an acoustic song because i believe that 
then you would tone down uh, the impossible things. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so it's better just to like go for it. That's what we always do anyways. Like if this feels good, we do that. If, it, if in the future an acoustic song will come, it will come, but it's nothing that we have on our minds right now. You mentioned the tour uh, with Sonata Arctica that's uh, coming soon. Uh, but before going to the tour, let's take a couple of steps back. And there wasn't a lot of touring in the last couple of years. Uh, so how was the pandemic for Elaine? Oh, terrible. <laughs> Awful. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it um, really made us uh, hunker down and really look for what we can do uh, besides touring and gigging. Uh, this is Madeline's and my income. We, we, uh, we are full-time musicians since 2014 and like everything disappeared overnight. And it wasn't until a year, almost a year after the pandemic started that both Madeline and I started doing Twitch streams every week. And, uh, it has been a total game changer and also oh, <laughs> without Patreon, I mean, Patreon has totally saved our asses with, without, without exaggerating at all. Patreon is just the most wonderful thing ever, both uh, with financial aid, but also with mental aid because they made us continue creating and continue doing content for them you know what i mean it was just everything disappeared there was nothing to do do you think like uh, the music industry has changed for good now you know in the wake of the pandemic um no i don't think so no <laughs> i think i think it will find its way back to both the good parts and the negative parts i really do yeah Let's go to the touring and live live gigs. Then, uh, how have you experienced gigs after like the worst of the pandemic? How have the audiences and the experiences been for you? Oh, very ecstatic! Um, the audience after a pandemic is totally bonkers, man. They just go for it. They're so happy to be uh, on a show again, and we're very happy to be on stage again. So it's uh, it's a beautiful thing that you realize that you had all along. Also, it's just so wonderful. Everyone, uh, like overnight or over three years, is a super fan all of a sudden, and that's that's beautiful. And that really shows also if we just rewind a little bit again with uh, during the pandemic, we we actually released our third album uh, and that was just mind blowing. We uh, we had set the date a long time before and the entire album was written also before the pandemic. M many think that we wrote it during the pandemic because you can connect certain songs with certain types of modes and during the pandemic and stuff like that, but it was written before the pandemic. And we said that let's have the release date because we need something to look forward to and our fans need something to look forward to. And that was the correct decision to make uh, with regards to this being our greatest release to date. And also fans like learning the songs during the pandemic. And now that we play them out, they just sing along. They're, it, they're just so happy and we're happy. Everyone's happy. Everyone's windmilling and headbanging. That's super great. Looking also forward a bit, you know, uh, Dancing in Hell came out in uh, 2020. And so when will we hear new music? <laughs> um, I can tell you that uh, you don't have to wait all too long until uh, you hear some new music. I can't tell you a lot, but I can tell you that. Okay, maybe then you can tell me, answer a bit more broadly, like what kind of things inspire you at the moment? What kind of, oh man, uh, same as always, uh, life in general, observations, feelings, uh stuff like that we always write very empowering music our music is all about 
empowering others and uh, giving strength. Both, I mean, we also gain strength from our music because it's our words on paper and and in the in the notes. And yeah, it's it's just that you know, life basically unity.